What's up, you all? What's going on? We are back. We are here. This is an impressive video. I will have their video. I need to move my camera out of the uh, out the screen. I will have her video linked inside of the comment section. This one is Usher Shades, Chris Brown. I have not seen the Super Bowl halftime show with Usher. I heard it was pretty good, though, but I just I haven't heard much about it because the second part of this title beyonce stole usher super bowl moment beyonce new country album i reacted to both of the uh, new beyonce songs 16 carriages and texas hold'em they are um not on my patreon they are just on my youtube channel so just open, go go to my page and and you'll see my reactions there i am i love them I, that's all i'm gonna say i i yes i it was everything i needed and that's literally all i saw trending from the super bowl was beyonce i don't even know who won the super bowl i also don't care who won but um yeah my entire twitter feed was just beyonce 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 and her, and her country album and verizon wireless as well uh yeah Anywho, let's go ahead and get into this impressive video. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. Look Both at Usher Beyonce. Beyonce looks Beyonce so good. At this year's Super Bowl. And I first want to get into Usher's Super Bowl halftime performance because obviously he was one of the big highlights of the night. Of and course. I will say this. Usher hasn't lost it. Usher Period. That's good. Better than ever, y'all. I mean, the man is just goaded. He's goaded. He's an R&B legend. Absolutely. And I really enjoyed his halftime show. I think I got I got to watch it. Halftime show for me is Usher's talent. I'm gonna watch Honestly, it. It's gonna Usher be on my Patreon. No. Props. He didn't need all of the different distractions. It's his talent that sold the show. His dancing and his singing. And it's the fact you that his good. mic was on for me. Like, his mic is on, absolutely. Dancing, Just like Beyonce, mic is on. He wasn't using no playback, no pre-recorded vocals, no auto-tune, no special effects. That was all his voice. And yes. I was very impressed, but I also wasn't surprised by it because I did get a chance to see Usher live in Vegas. So I know oh, that he good. performs down. This is nothing new. Nice. I really thought that he brought his A-game here, and he just came to prove to the world that he is one of the best entertainers of all time. Of course. The only major critique I have of his performance is a lot of the songs felt rushed. And I understand oh. he only had like 13 minutes to put on a show. So there's only so many songs that he could do. But a lot of the songs that he tried to squeeze in just was too rushed for me. Mm. But other than that, I thought he gave a great show. He Good for him. Chris, Jermaine Dupri, and Lil oh. John for the oh. and That was definitely the highlight of the show. And he also brought her out and she played the guitar. Okay. And did her thing. She played during Bad Girl and she also played during You Got It Bad. She you really got did it, thing. you got it bad. But unfortunately, I do have to critique Alicia Keys a little bit and i'm not oh alicia keys obviously. was there too that's crazy yeah now nah, beyonce definitely stole usher's moment because i didn't see anything about all these other people beyonce was the only thing i saw from the super bowl no no joke i saw no clips of this performance anywhere i didn't even see it on youtube everyone is talking about beyonce because of course she's the the biggest artist alive right now so that makes that makes sense but it has lines. to be out. I think her vocals were not particularly strong in this performance. Aww. She did perform with Usher. She performed If I Ain't Got You and also My Boo. If and I her voice was a bit strained. I was God. like, Ugh, I don't know, Alicia. This is not sounding too great. But Usher saved it. And Usher was doing Good. a little bit too much when he was dancing oh. and trying to grind on Alicia. She's a married woman, and Usher is about to get married to his girlfriend, too. So yeah, not, he's not, just doing too much. He's always on somebody's lady. <laughs> that, but yeah, overall, I that's thought the a show lot. was good, and it just solidified the fact that Usher is one of the best performers of all good. time. Good. I'm going to have to check out this um, halftime performance. About Usher, I do want to briefly talk about his new album, Coming Home. Uh -oh. I have to be honest. I was disappointed, and I was disappointed uh -oh. because I anticipated Usher to come with a strong album. But to me, the album was giving me Vegas Usher. It wasn't giving me Vegas Usher. Usher. The songs were just kind of mid and generic, and it didn't seem like he had any real musical direction with this project. It seemed like he put it together real quick to capitalize off of his Super Bowl moment. Good. So I wasn't really feeling it. I was a little disappointed because Aww. my expectations were high for Usher. Aww. However, I will point out some positives in the album. There are a few good songs on there. I do like A Town Girl featuring Lotto. I mean, hit them it's a cute little TikTok song. I can see it being a little TikTok bop. Also, I think Kissing Strangers is a nice song for pop radio, you know. I also like I Love You and Please You. Even though the song sounded a bit generic, I still liked it. It sounded good. He also has a song called Stone Cold Freak. <laughs> it's like I like it, but I don't like it. It's weird. It just sounds like um, a throwaway Chris. Did Usher throw shade at Chris Brown? It's not that I'm going to care about I Usher's album, now, but. The the party. He said, ends talking about versus with me, please. It's not I really. I know you think he's the bae, but he's not. Now, I don't know about you, but this might have been some shade towards Chris Brown because I Why don't Chris remember Brown, the conversations about Usher and Chris 
doing a versus battle usher seemed i don't remember those conversations kind of felt like the versus battle was for washed up artists yeah i agree something like a versus yeah i mean me and chris will kill the world if we ever did something together like that i'm not saying it's versus but i will i'm gonna just say this if that ever happens It'll be one of the biggest things that anybody has ever experienced in anything. Period. My whole position on, on the versus thing is, is like, it's cool. It's dope what it's doing with the culture, but I feel like where I'm at in my in my quarter of my game, like, I'm not down 20 points. You feel me? Like, so I feel like me doing that would be like, okay, you know, I'm about to hang it up. So, uh, that's a real, real, you know what I mean? You may be saying, I'm retired. smoking. You know what I mean? <laughs> So Chris Brown said he would smoke Usher, basically. And at this point, I don't think Usher cares about doing a versus right. or a collaboration with Chris. He at just all. got done with the Super Bowl boy bar. last year. They actually got into a bit of a scuffle because yeah, Chris Brown at the got birthday upset party, right? Taylor and Usher didn't like the tone he was using with her, and he tried to intervene. And, and Chris hit him, right? Wire, and Usher and Chris fell out. And it was really crazy because Usher didn't Chris Brown hit somebody? Girl, no. Chris Brown was cut crazy, the story. So Usher was like, man. Forget is that you. Bow Wow? And this kind of makes celebrate him and everything, but Chris Brown was acting crazy. So Usher was like, man, forget you. And this kind of makes sense why Usher is now shading Chris. He's now changing his tune and saying he can't even do a versus with him. How tall is Usher? Because Chris Brown look 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 like he's 6'5 there. He's a talented artist. He makes good music. And he has been holding the game down for a long time. He has. But Usher is still a legend. He's a veteran. Absolutely. Host, he has proven tonight at the Super Bowl that he has no competition. Okay. Yeah, I'm so going to react to his Super Bowl now, performance. We'll that would be over on my Patreon. Beyonce yeah. Kind of stole the show as she well. She did. And a lot of Absolutely. Like she stole Usher's moment because Who cares? she did a surprise Super Bowl commercial with Verizon. And she also announced that she is dropping a country album. Yes, in March. March in Get ready. Act two album. And she already she looks so two, good. One of them being Texas Hold'em and another one yeah. being 16 Carriages. And I think it's Texas. Woo! And I actually like it. You know, I, I, I did too. I loved music it. music fits Beyonce's voice very, very well. It does. Texas Absolutely. It's very much a Beyonce style record. Very. She also came with the authentic country vibes. Yes. And also, Absolutely. Sixteen Carriages sounds nice as well. It does. I actually played it a few times. And me too. And there's a song that is kind of sad to me. I don't know. It just it is like sad. It is sad has a feeling of finality to it and you know beyonce is just reflecting on her long career and she's thinking about how much she had to work and how she had to sacrifice for her legacy and overworked and underpaid 16 carriages driving away and i'm wondering what exactly was she envisioning was she envisioning like a home going service like what mm. is it i don't know but the song just sounds sad to me it's beautiful but sad. it is a beautiful song that, and I it is it's sad really cool that beyonce is actually doing a country music album and seeing her pivot in a country direction is kind of smart because country music has had a resurgence on the mainstream pop charts it's always okay. been a big genre but i've noticed that it's become more mainstream again especially with the major success of luke combs cover of tracy chapman's hit song fast car so beyonce is following the trend and i think she doesn't this black chick uh not let like other black people sample her music or something I don't know if she was like racist or something. Of Tracy Chapman's hit song, Fast Car. So Beyonce is following the trend, and I think she realizes how profitable country music is. It is and very it's possible profitable. that a country music album can help her finally get the coveted Grammy Award that she it wants. better. And that is the Album of the Year Award. It does. Now, and the it better. Now, is, Taylor Swift is also dropping a who new album. Who cares about, so who cares about the crackhead? She Grammy like she on meth. Who cares? Taylor. So I don't know, but we'll see how Beyonce's country album. Why is Beyonce? Why do people? This is such a tired argument. Why do people say that she's in competition with Taylor? Is Taylor even as big as Beyonce? I don't think so. Like, why? Why are they always being compared? I don't get it. It's such a weird, weird comparison. Beyonce has just done so much in the industry. She's opened so many doors. She is a legend, and Taylor Swift is just Taylor. How it does. I'm actually very, very excited to hear it, and I'm starting to understand the concept of Beyonce's Renaissance Trilogy project. Yes, I understand it. This tweet that pretty much summed it up. It said the way Beyonce is reclaiming genres. I saw this Black tweet music, too. That's crazy. Act one, house music, Act Two, country music, and Act Three, which we can assume will be rock and roll. Rock and roll, music. absolutely. She's everyone that Black artists are the blueprint. Yes. When it comes to these genres. Yes. Music. Yes. I that was a very interesting post, and it makes a lot of sense. It's it true does. though. Now, I want to get into some of the comments about Beyonce releasing music on the night of the Super Bowl. A lot of people are excited for Beyonce's new music, but there of are course. some people who felt like Beyonce stole Usher's moment. Who cares? Here were some of the comments that I saw in the shade room. Why is she trying to distract from Usher? Who cares? All of this is a major distraction. Let's first of all, let, let's let's talk about it and be real. If you all have been keeping up with the war that's going on, uh, Israel's genocide on Palestinians um that that's the what all of this stuff is really distracting us from 
they literally just carpet bombed all of Rafa, I believe it was, over in Gaza, which was like the last refugee area. And they killed so many people over there and made the living conditions even worse. So the Super Bowl, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Usher, all this is an actual distraction from something that's actually going on. So MFN, AYO, go to hell, girl. This is irrelevant. Usher's halftime show, irrelevant. Beyonce's album, not as relevant. <laughs> um, to compare to what's actually some real atrocities going on inside of the world. So this is the real distraction from what's going on over in Gaza. If we want to talk about distractions, girl, show. you missed girl, me. Not now. Can Usher have his moment? Dang. No. He told Usher, watch this. Period. She always do stuff like this on other people's night of celebration. That drop can wait till tomorrow. No, Hashtag we can't. Check her records. Shut Beyonce, up. Can you just let Usher have his moment? No. I, this was very ballroom. Beyonce stormed Usher. Where is the same energy when um, didn't Taylor Swift announce her album? When she shaded Celine Dion uh, recently at the uh, at the Grammy, she said she shaded Celine Dion and then she did like, I guess, pay respect to any other artists who were in the category like SZA in them. Where was the same energy? She's getting on my nerves and I love her. Can Usher have his nice? Okay, I don't Nobody care about hear these. This stuff. Usher couldn't even have a full to Usher. So as you can see, some people were calling Beyonce out for releasing songs the same night of Usher's Super It's Bowl. Beyonce. I can understand why people would think it is a little funny for Beyonce to just randomly. It's part of the commercial with Verizon, though. It's part of the Friday deal. For an official release, but I think this no. moment was too good for Beyonce to pass up. Absolutely. Super Bowl night is when everybody is tuned in. So of course. Beyonce dropped her Super Bowl commercial for Verizon, and she announced her album and dropped her two singles. Absolutely. I mean, that was the perfect way for her to capitalize. It was perfect, of and she got paid to so do I it. So I can't blame her. I mean, she's doing what any businesswoman would do. Absolutely. But did she take Usher's moment, y'all? No. <laughs> she probably well, actually, did. yeah, she did. I didn't see a thing about the Super Bowl. I didn't see a thing about Alicia Keys. I didn't see anything about the Super Bowl. So all I saw on Twitter was Beyonce everywhere so who knows but i mean you got a point she so she did <laughs> anyway tell what y'all think about this video down below but that's not the real distraction because some very horrible Maybe stuff happened on super bowl night Bye. in gaza yeah good video uh by impressive really like the format anywho i'm very excited for beyonce's um hair care line sacred gonna be using on my hair i am also very excited for uh what's it called her country album and last but not least, Usher's Super Bowl performance will be over on my Patreon. So check out my Patreon link will be in the description. Peace out.